raining out a little bit today, but uh, hopefully it'll hold off. We're going to take a fairly quick ride up US 421, about 10 or 15 miles, and uh, just get her good and warmed up. Uh, just hit a little over 2,000 miles. So here we go. Right here's US 421. It's a fun little stud. So I've enjoyed everything about this bike. This uh, quick little ride just takes us into downtown Frankfurt. The uh, Husqvarna, I didn't know anything about them. I'm super impressed with this bike. I've got almost 2,500 miles on it, and there's not much that I can't say positively about the bike. It's quick, it's fun. I ride it because it's fun, and this bike is the most fun bike I've ever ridden. It's quick, it's fast, it handles well, it can go anywhere that I want to ride. This bike is a better bike than I am a rider. Like, I feel like I need to go take some lessons so I can go ride this in more places, and ride more aggressively and not so timidly, um, because frankly, I'm, I'm scared to ride in a lot of places, and I've ridden to a lot of places that people wouldn't dare to go ride. Uh, we just got done riding to the Arctic Circle in two countries. We rode all the way up to Dalton and Dempster this summer. I did that on an African twin. I didn't do that on this bike, but <clears throat> I would do that on this bike in a heartbeat. This bike will definitely do it. This is a much better bike than an African twin. It's definitely a lot more fun. Like I said, I didn't know anything about them until this year. And they haven't been out long, maybe a year, year and a half. Uh, the Expedition just came out this year, and I got one of the last ones that you could get in the United States. So uh, my timing was pretty good on it, and I had to go drive a few hours and pick it up. So luckily the uh, dealership worked with me to uh, get everything taken care of. My local Husqvarna dealership is doing all the servicing, and they're working with me really well too. So uh, they had a regular 901 in stock, but they did not have an Expedition. The Expedition has got a few more things on it than the regular 901. Um, it's definitely worth the extra money. But they are hard to get. There aren't a lot of them around. This thing's been a great touring bike. It's been a great low-speed bike. It's been a great off-road bike. Uh, I'm six foot three, 240 pounds. It holds me fine. Um, if you're a little smaller, it is a big bike. Um, I think my African Twin was a little bigger. It was definitely a lot heavier. And it was much taller. Uh, this bike's a little shorter to the ground. It handles a lot better. The weight is a lot lower. There's not much I can say about this bike to most people have already said about it, but I've enjoyed it a lot coming off an African plan. This is a much, much better bike. It's a whole different class of motorcycle, so I would definitely buy another one. If, you know, if I could go back in time, I would definitely do this purchase again. Enjoyed everything about it. Enjoy the rest of the ride, guys. It's a really great road on uh, 421. This goes all the way into uh, downtown Frankfurt right by the Capitol. Uh, this is right in my backyard. I ride this all the time. It's one of my favorite rides.
this is the last little section of 421 that's going down into uh, the actual capital of Frankfurt. It's kind of twisty. You're up on top of a hill. I'd call everything up in here moderately hilly. It's not super hilly. It's just moderately hilly. And then uh, this takes you down to the Kentucky River and the uh, capital of Frankfurt there. Uh, this stretch of 421, this last, you know, couple of miles heading down into town is uh, it's a lot of fun. You see a lot of motorcycles on here. This is uh, one of my favorite little stretches to ride, and uh, that's why I took it through here today. It's a good time. So, um, around this area of Frankfurt, uh, with the Kentucky River being in here, there's a lot of different creeks, a lot of bridges, there's a lot of gravel around here. Uh, there's just a really good variety of places to go. So, I really like this area of Kentucky. I follow the Kentucky River north and south up to the Ohio River and then uh, south into Lexington and around Harrodsburg. And it's very pretty, very pretty. There's a lot of good loops. And these uh, roads that follow these rivers, they're, they're curvy, they're wooded. It's just absolutely amazing country. The uh, Palisades of the Kentucky River, following that up and down, is just absolutely breathtaking. I mean, I can just go out on 45 mile rides all day. Just circles north and south, east and west. Really love it and enjoy it. This bike uh, is really good at every piece of it. Um, on this ride, I've been intentionally trying not to use the clutch and I've been using the quick shifter. The uh, quick shifter on this bike is something new that I have not used before. And it's pretty smooth on this bike. Um, I don't really know what to expect. You do have to put a little bit of effort into it. It can seem kind of clunky until the engine is warmed up, and then it's, it's fairly smooth. Even accelerating pretty hard and using the quick shifter, um, there's a little bit of an engine pop in between gears, but it's pretty seamless. It functions really well. Uh, it's definitely a lot faster than shifting. It's very, very uh, smooth when you have a passenger ridden with my son on the back quite a few times and when I'm using the quick shifter we don't bump hel helmets so that's been really nice um, I don't think it's quite as good as like the DCT on the Honda Africa Twin and the Gold Wings but it is still very good some of the other things on here like the headlights are very good I've had to adjust it because it's very bright the, uh, the high beam is super bright <laughs> it's super bright and uh, the regular LED headlight is very bright, and the fog lights are very bright. Um, I can tell when I'm coming up on people that they're not very happy if I don't have my headlights adjusted properly. So I've had to continually uh, adjust them down so that it's not, you know, shining into people's eyes too badly. But, you know, that's just a usage thing. No problem with the bike. It, it works flawlessly. Some of the other things on this bike that, you know, I've really enjoyed, it... Uh, it's smooth. All the way through the revs, the uh, response on the acceleration is great. The braking is excellent. The handling is really good. These uh, tires that come with it, they are very good. The lifespan on them, I don't know, I might get five or 6,000 miles out of them. They seem to be pretty soft, which, you know, that's about par for the course. So I will uh, pick out some different tires when I go to replace them next spring. But you know, for a tire that comes on these bikes, usually they're pretty street oriented. These are pretty off-road oriented tires. I mean, you know, for something that you're getting with the bike, they're pretty good. So I've enjoyed it a lot. 